The Smash roster is one of my favourite parts of the entire Smash series, with the inclusions of new fighters every instalment. Never knowing who's going to get in next, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes or another character from that company taking the spot. Welcome to a new foe has appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in the future. I'm your host, BB-8 from BB-8's house. Let's get into it up next. Right, Rayman is who we're going to talk about today. It was hard to land on a Ubisoft rep, only because I couldn't include Altair from Assassin's Creed due to the game rating, and I couldn't include Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs only because Watch Dogs hasn't appeared on a Nintendo console. And the, and the rabbits, I couldn't land on either, only because the rabbits was actually a Rayman game. So, I had to land on the main character of Rayman, aka Rayman. And Rayman is the fighter we're talking about today, because... I am making a couple of last minute guesses on who the last two fighters are going to be. And for companies that haven't been represented in Smash yet, like Crash Bandicoot for Activision, Rayman for Ubisoft, Diva and Mecha for Blizzard, which I had no idea Blizzard was owned by Activision. I literally had no idea. Well, let's get into it, shall we? So for his moveset, his neutral special being Telescopic Fist. Hold the button to wind up and let go to release a big fist. The longer you charge, the farther the fist will fly. While holding the button, you can aim in eight different directions. You can e even punch beneath you if you charge in the air. Side special being walking shell, Rayman rides on an explosive shell that dashes straight forward. When it hits something, it will explode. Rayman will take a little damage if he is still on it. So jump off before you get hit. The shell will continue to run if you jump off it. Will even run off the stage. His up special being super helicopter, much like Peach's parasol. Rayman will shoot upwards and descend slowly. You can move left or right, unlike Peach. You can cancel with an attack. And the down special being plum drop. A giant plum will drop down above you. Rayman will catch it if he stands still. You can carry and toss this fruit like you would a crate. When it's on the stage, you can attack it to send a flying. And finally, with his final smash being... Mosquito Rush. Rayman whistles loudly and excitedly jumps into the air as a large mosquito rushes on stage and underneath Rayman. 
Rayman leaps onto the mosquito's back, yells, hey yeah H, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. As though, it, as though it was a horse, and gets back into the battle atop of a large mosquito. The mosquito controls back to the battle atop the large mosquito. The mosquito controls very similarly as Yoshi's final smash. And has a variety of attacks to utilize. Pressing A will cause the mosquito to fire a dart like projectile in whatever direction it's currently facing. The projectile deals a little knockback even when the opponent is has high damage. But travels fast dealing 8% damage and can be fired rapidly pressing B will cause the mosquito to inhale if the mosquito inhales an opponent it is difficult to escape press multiple buttons to attempt to escape the mosquito while having in inhaled the opponent you can press B again to fire the opponent out at the mosquito's nose the distance of the opponent's shot depends on the damage they have taken, but spitting them out deals 25% damage. You can spit them out at other opponents to deal additional damage and knockback, or attempt to spit them off screen. You control the mosquito for about 15 seconds maximum but attacking the mosquito will cause the time it is on stage to decrease traumatically. The mosquito is fast, but if it has an opponent inhaled, it moves really slow. After the time is up, the mosquito angrily dumps Rayman onto the stage and Rayman rubs his head and gets back into the fight. So that was Rayman's moveset. And now for the alts. The alt, alt 1, just being as basic colors. Alt 2 being Raybox, based on Glowbox from Rayman Legends. Alt 3, just being blue skin, based on the teensies. Alt 4, being red hair and green clothes, based on Barbara. Alt 5 being Splinter Ray from Rayman Legends. Alt 6, don't hate me for this, but completely white based on the Rabbids from Rayman Raving Rabbids. I, I know a lot of people are getting angry at me for using the Rabbids, only because the Rabbids were technically like the Minions before the Minions, but of course, one of my mates hates Illumination, so I don't even have to dive into that. But of course, did you know the Rabbids was technically a Rayman spin-off? Now let's get back into it. Golden Rayman, based on Golden Teensy, and Alt-8 being raced based on Raymasis from Rayman Legends. The stage being Ray and the Beanstalk from Rayman Legends, which released back in 2013. The music could just be a mix of songs throughout the Rayman series. Like, doesn't matter what Rayman installment it is, it's just a mix. Kind of like how Joker had not just Persona 5 soundtracks, but from Persona 4 and 3 as well. His classic mode, I haven't talked about classic mode in a while, but round one could be Ice Climbers, round two could be Ridley, round three could be Greninja, round four Incineroar, round five could be Donkey Kong, round six could be Wolf, the bonus round, and the boss could be 
Master Hand and Crazy Hand. The Spirits was a difficult one, only because I've only played Rayman Legends. Only because I ha I didn't own Rayman Origins, but if I did get my hands on the Xbox 360 version of Rayman Origins, I guess I might just play it. So, the spirits are Rayman, being the fighter spirit, Globox, Barbera, the Teensies, don't get mad at me if this forget, again, Rabbids from Rayman Raving Rabbids, Mr. Dark, being the legend spirit, and the Looms, which involve into the Loom King. So guys, what did you think of my idea for Rayman and Smash? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss another new foes appeared again. And don't forget to leave a comment on what you thought of this new foes appeared episode. And please take this with a grain of salt, because Rayman is just a guess. Even though Rayman is already in this fighting game, like Smash Bros, called Brawlhalla, I am kind of 50-50 and 75% with Rayman. And this episode who will prevail is, is these two here. One I consider to get in to Smash before the game even came out. Like, this is a character I wanted before the game came out. And a character from one of my childhood games that recently got killed off by its company. That's it for Rayman, BB-8 out.